As with every year, the program works towards building for the future, and that future starts on signing day. Signing day marks the end of a tireless recruiting process that sometimes is years in the making. But in the end, 18 student athletes made their commitment to officially become Spartans, a commitment that sometimes gets challenged. Justin Williams. So start, starting off at DN so you can slim down a little bit, get ready to run, all right? And then we'll, we'll gradually move you inside, eventually maybe maybe in a year or two or whatever. It's exciting, very exciting. So uh, I'll, get the, I'll get the tweet out and everything else. Your mom there? Okay, put her on the line there. Guys, what's your goals? Uh, get a degree, world ball national championship. How about you, Delvin? <laughs> I'm right behind him. All right. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Same well, uh, with everything else, but I, I just wanted to say thanks, Coach. I appreciate you know you stick with me through the hard times. You know, some ups and downs for me, but you know I'm happy I got your trust, and I'm just happy I made this decision because you guys stuck with me all the way through it, and I just feel that's why I stuck with my commitment after all these other colleges is after me, but don't worry. I got trust in you, you got trust in me, thanks. One recruit, Coach Antonio, took a chance on in his first year as head coach. Ultimately, became one of the all-time great players in Spartan history. Well, obviously, you saw uh, great leadership from all the things you heard about him as a high school player. Uh, you know, we came in in the fall of 2006, so there was a lot of unknown, really, uh, as we entered into the recruiting season that year. But uh, what I saw on the film was a great ability to deliver the ball very quickly, much like Drew Brees. He got it out quick. Uh, he made very quick decisions. He was very sure of himself. And then when Coach Treadwell went to watch him uh, play basketball, he saw all of those things that we just had talked about, the intangibles. And then he saw some feet as well. You know, he's quick-footed at the time and uh, remains so today. Well, when you look at my recruiting process, when I was uh, going back through it in 2006, I didn't have many scholarship offers. So the fact that Coach Antonio offered me when no other Big Ten school did and hadn't even come close to offering me, it was a shot in the dark and it was a risk. He took a chance on me. And not only that, but um, he, he gave me uh, a chance when I got here, and he didn't just forget about me, but he, he gave me reps, he gave me a chance to develop, and uh, for that I owe him my career. You know, when you meet him, you're instantly struck with, with how mature he is and how he's uh, a self-starter and, and all those intangibles that he brings to the table, so I think it was a good fit. You guys don't even know how much being a champion is stressed around our building and how much it's pounded into us that what, what championship teams do and how we need to improve to be a championship team. And here we are, we have a championship uh, in our resume. And it's a special thing, no one can ever take it from us. Well, one of the biggest things I learned at Michigan State um, is, is delayed gratification. Uh, things don't happen always right away, and that's okay. Uh, I redshirted, I was uh, fourth string as a freshman here at Michigan State. I was on the scout team. I then was a backup for a second season. Um, not everything has to happen right away and through the challenges that I faced, whether it be academically, whether it be in the weight room from Coach Manny, whether it be from my position coach, Coach Warner, uh, whether it be an injury, the challenges I faced built character and by the time I was leaving uh, at 23 years old as a fifth year senior, I had grown from a boy to a man and uh, it was that growth and development in those five years that prepares me for what I had to face as a rookie in the NFL entering the real world and not just an NFL player but had I entered any uh, field of work. My experiences here um, were a laboratory to prepare me for life. I think you learn to appreciate the family atmosphere at Michigan State around the football program once you leave because you start to realize that once you're gone you're still a member and um, Coach Antonio continued to contact me throughout his busy season and throughout my busy season continued to stay in touch this year. My position coach Coach Warner did the same. Um, I, I felt like I was still connected to this university in many ways and uh, I know that that will continue going forward and that's why I'm back here, uh, why I want to come back in my off seasons to visit, to say hello to familiar faces because I have great memories here, uh, I have great experiences here and there are so many great people here and 
Coach D'Antonio always stressed that at the end of the day you win with people. Talent's important, uh, plays, schemes are important, but at the end of the day you have to have the right people and uh, he did that. He brought the right people in and as a result it's the kind of place and the kind of people that I want to come back and see. And people often ask me, uh, how's the speed of the game different from playing at Michigan State to the NFL? And I say, well, it, it's, it's a little bit faster and you're playing against grown men, so I don't want to undersell the NFL, but uh, you got to understand, I played in the Big Ten and I played at Michigan State and we played the best teams in the country. And to think that suddenly these guys I'm playing against who are now all being first round draft picks, to think that suddenly the game's going to be that much faster, I'm playing against in college a lot of these guys who are pro bowlers on Sundays. Spartan Stadium is, um, I think, one of the most underrated places in the country. Uh, when you think about 75,000 plus every single weekend, you think of the atmosphere here at several night games, um, the incredible moments we've had, the Hail Mary game, the Little Giants game, um, you know, these are special moments that don't just happen at every other school. Uh, our student section is as big as any in the country, our marching band is as storied as any in the country. So. When you look at the whole operation, not to mention what's going to take place now with not only the, the scoreboards but the north entrance and the locker room addition, it's going to be one of the most special stadiums around in all of college football. And uh, I have so many great memories when I think back to my days in that stadium and uh, I think there's a lot of great days ahead.